This is Trevor Carroll, Battlefield Fight League producer, coming to you from BFL Studios in Vancouver, BC, here to give you an exclusive update on our next card, BFL 19, being held in Penticton, BC, on November 9th at the Penticton Trade and Convention Center. The card is being headlined by two familiar faces to BFL fans, as Kelowna's Matt Dwyer takes on Brian Chappie for the BFL World Welterweight Championship. For those of you not familiar with Matt Dwyer, this is his fourth time headlining a BFL event, and this will be his ninth BFL appearance. He was 3-1 as an amateur and 3-1 and as a pro. He has the most stoppages in BFL history, with all six of his wins in the BFL cage being stoppages, five of them in the first round. Matt Dwyer is on the phone with us. Hey, Matt, how are you doing? Good, Trevor, man. How are you? Good, good, good. So, Matt, this is going to be a big fight for you, probably the biggest one of your career. How's the camp going, and have you brought in any specific fighters to mimic Ryan Chappie's style to prep for this fight? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, trainings are going awesome. Uh, training every day, you know, six, seven days a week. Um, you know, as far as uh, training partners go, I got a, the whole Toshido plan there. Uh, you know, shark tanking me every day. You know, I'm, I'm fighting guys every minute. They're jumping in. You know, so it's uh, it's like fighting a guy who never gets tired. You know, and uh, I'm still uh, I'm still training with Stuart Delorum. Uh, he's uh, he's been helping me out, and I got a couple other guys too. Um, Wade Apps actually, he's uh, he's going to be coming up this weekend. He's just visiting Kona, but I'm going to get some rounds in with him. He's a good wrestler. So uh, yeah, just uh, you know, working on my takedown defense, my sprawling, and you know, getting back to my feet if I get taken down and, you know, just using my reach advantage. That's uh, basically what we've been drilling. So, uh, you know, feeling confident and uh, ready to go, ready to put on a good show. So, you know, you have also have a few teammates on the card, Joe Parada, Cuba Ashigoyan, Clee Bentley, who we've also seen. Uh, you know, we've seen Joe Parada in the BFL cage a couple of times. He's looked very impressive. What can you say to the Battlefield fans about your three other teammates and that are fighting on this card? Oh, uh, well, you know, they're tough young guys. They're young and up-and-comers. Uh, Joe, uh, he, uh, he took a fight, uh, short notice, you know, just to get some extra experience at, uh, the, the caged rage event. You know, Joe's only, I think he's only 17 years old. He took on a guy that was in his 20s, you know, he's from out of Lee Meehan's camp, and he, you know, so he, he was a pretty reputable guy. And, uh, Joe, you know, just Matt Hamill, you know, it was, uh, Totally, uh, you know, Joe looked like he was the older guy, and uh, he just he beat the guy in the second round, and uh, he just looked great. Uh, you know, Cleve, Cleve Bentley, he's he's a tough guy. You know, I'm training with him all the time. His striking's look, looking really good. You know, his jujitsu, his wrestling, it's it's all coming along really well. You know, you know, it's it's good that you guys are putting on these amateur shows. You know, for these young guys, so they they can get that experience in before they start. You know, start off with their professional career, right? And uh, you know, I, I just. You know, I don't expect anything but the best from these guys, and they're, they're going to shine come November 9th. Sounds like you got a great team of guys together. You know, this card is being held close to home at the Penticton Trade and Convention Center. That's just a hop, skip, and a jump away from your hometown, the Kelowna. What kind of support have you been getting from your friends and family leading up to this fight? Uh, it's huge, man. It's huge. It's, uh, it's a really, uh, it's a great feeling, man. A humbling experience. You know, everybody's there for you, uh, no matter what, man. And uh, through thick and thin, you know, that's, that's who you know who your good friends are. You know, even even anybody that has you know a few words of encouragement, you know, it just it means the world to me, right? It's it's a brotherhood out here. Everybody's you know here for each other, and uh, you know, I just I, I just want to do my best, and I you know I want to do it for everybody that you know that cares about me and all my teammates, and you know, it's it's just that that means the most to me, and just to put on a good show for them, right? And you know, I'll, I'll show that all their support's helping me pay helping pay off, right? Like that's that's the, that's what you need the most, right? Is support from from your friends and family when you're going, you know, working every day and training every night and you're tired and you're sore and, you know, you know, those are those encouraging moments, you know, that's what really helps you get through the tough, tough times for the second thing, you know, and that's what it's all about. And so uh, only, this is the only fighting out there that brings people together, you know what I mean? So it's, it's a, it's a good feeling, man. It's, I'm ready to go. So just for a lot of people who have seen your fights, they know you as a knockout artist, they've seen you knock guys out like uh, Yusuf Jai, uh, Mark Doby, Levi Alford, but they've also watched you submit guys like Micah Brakefield and Sean Zubor in the past. Um, does anything going into this fight worry you about uh, Ryan Chappie's ground game? Um, yeah, there's, uh, you know, coming into this fight, you know, I'm expecting Ryan Chappie to come at me and try to get to the ground, right? He does, you know try to get past my reach and get it to the ground. So I, I'm, I'm more than comfortable there, right? Like you said, I've, I've been on the ground and uh, I've been in pad position, positions, you know, I've, I've gotten out, I can get out of them. I, I'll stay calm and, uh, you know, see my composure. But, 
you know, yeah, just the main thing is, is just, you know, working to get back to my feet, you know, maybe some submissions, reversals, you know, just, uh, that's just what I expect from Ryan Shapi to do, right, is try to take me down, so, you know, if he wants to stand and trade with me, that's, that's fine too, right, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping for the best, but expecting the worst kind of thing, so, you know, if it goes there, I'll be prepared. Now, this being a five-round title fight, a lot of experts are saying that if the fight goes to the later rounds, you will have a big edge because of your cardio and his tendency to fade in the later rounds. Is this something that you're looking to exploit in this fight? Yeah, you know, if uh, I, I, I'm definitely, I got five rounds to beat this guy. You know, there's no rush to run in at him. You know, I, I, made, that, I made a mistake like that before where, you know, you get a little excited when you don't need to and... You know, it's uh, that's just a part of the learning phase, right? And exactly, I, I got five rounds to beat this guy. Um, judging by his fights, you know, he's a, he's a thicker guy. You know, he's got big muscles, so those take a lot of oxygen, right? To you know, pull in. So, I mean, if he goes if he goes too hard or whatever, you know, he starts to get tired out, and uh, I think that's definitely where you'll see me uh, come out on top for sure. That being said. Ryan Chappie has looked absolutely unstoppable in Battlefield. He is undefeated in BFL. He's 3-0. and He stopped all of his opponents in the first round. What part of his game worries you the most going into this fight? You know, just like he's a tough guy, right? He's, uh, he's got the experience. He's a true veteran of the sport. He's a seasoned fighter. You know, he's definitely no slouch, right? So I'm, th- I'm taking him very serious. He's, uh, this is the most, uh, I take every fighter serious, right? No matter what, what the reputation is. I don't want to lose my fight. And, uh, the last thing you want to do is underestimate somebody. And, uh, that's something that I'm not doing against a tough guy like Ryan Chappie. So, uh, you know, yeah, hope for the best, but expect the worst, right? <laughs> Just speaking on experience, you know, Ryan Chappie, he's been fighting pro since 2006. He has 17 pro fights. You burst on the MMA scene about two years ago and are widely regarded as one of the top prospects in all of Canada. You know, a lot of people are looking at this fight as a battle between one of the very best young up-and-coming guys. And, uh, you know, that's kind of come through the amateur program, similar to your teammate Chris Day, and also Gary Mangett and Micah Brakefield against one of the veteran crops of the fighters here in BC and Ryan Chappie. You know, a lot of older fighters are saying that the new guys are getting too much marketing and don't have the skill set to hang with the veteran pros how do you silence the critics with a big win here over ryan chappie well then i guess that would uh silence a lot of critics if uh you know when i pull off the w right you know i uh, hope and so but uh you know like uh yeah i i can see where they're coming from the guys have been around for a while uh you know there's a lot of there's a lot of uh marketing for the younger fighters now which is you know it's a, it's a good thing right there's nothing wrong with that i mean for the guys that have been around a lot longer I mean, back then, it was like there wasn't really much amateur fights, right? It was just everybody would fight pro off the bat and hop in there and, you know, not have as much experience and not really know what they're doing. And, you know, that's their pro record for the rest of their life, right? Not really knowing back then what it's worth now. And, uh, you know, and it's not, and MMA wasn't what it was, you know, back then what it is now. So it's, uh, the game's changing quite a bit, you know, as far as amateur and professional fighters go and how you're getting brought in up now. A lot of it is how you market yourself. And uh, what organization you're with, you know, Battlefield's been doing a really great job, I think, you know, promoting all their fighters and, you know, get, uh, getting their name out there. And, you know, I'm glad to be a part of this opportunity. And, uh, you know, as uh, far as Ryan Chappie goes, I, and, you know, I, I just, you know, you better expect a good fight from me, even though he has more experience than me. Um, you know, I'm going to be ready to go no matter uh, what man it is. Um, I'm, I'm ready to fight. And, um, no matter where the fight goes, I'll be prepared. I know what to do. And... You know, I'm just going to stay composed and uh, keep my uh, chin down and my hands up and, uh, you know, ready to light off some fireworks. And I'm sure it doesn't get any better than winning that welterweight title. Exactly, <laughs> right? That's that's just like, uh, you know, the on the top, you know, the icing on the cake. You know, it's just, you know, I'm looking at it like it's mono a mono. I'm, I'm here to fight Ryan Shappy and beat him. You know, the belt is a definite plus. You know, it's a great... It'd be a great feeling to bring that belt back home and hang it on the Toshido wall with the other belts that we have. And uh, you know, but uh, you know, I'm I'm more focused on uh, beating Ryan Shappy, winning the fight, and uh, you know, and then winning the belt, of course. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, I just I, I just want to win. Any uh, anyone you want to thank uh, that's listening? Uh, I I'd love to thank my coach David Lee. You know, he's been there for me since I've been at Toshido, just uh, always helping me improve my game. I, I'm, I definitely feel more of an evolved MMA fighter. You know, all my old coaches and uh, all my teammates, you know, um, even Stuart DeLong, all these guys that are still helping me, my friends, my family, my fans. 
anybody who just has like a few words of encouragement to say, like I said, you know, it means the world to me. And, uh, you know, I'd like to thank you guys, you Trevor and Jay, everybody from Battlefield, your whole uh, production crew, you guys do, do a great job, man. And uh, I'm really happy to be fighting for you guys' organization, you know, and uh, I look forward to the future with you guys still. Once again, the card's going to be held on November 9th at the Penticton Trade and Convention Center. Tickets start only $35 and are available at bfltix.com. You can follow us on Twitter at BattlefieldFL for up-to-the-minute news on Battlefield Fight League. Once again, thank you, Matt Dwyer, for hanging out with us, and uh, best of luck in your next fight. Thank you, sir.